Dr. Thurston, tell us a little bit about yourself and your involvement in the Utah health care reforms. I am the Utah Health Policy and Reform Initiatives Coordinator. I've been involved with health system reform in Utah since 2005 when Governor Huntsman took over as Governor of the State of Utah and I've been involved ever since. And you prefer a state-based approach to health care reform. Tell us why. In Utah, um, part of our culture is, is that we think that the solutions that are going to solve problems are more likely to come from the private sector than from the government. And we recognize that every state's different, but we think that for us, that's the best way of doing it. And so we feel like the states need to be able to do what works best for them and their markets and their circumstances. And Dr. Thurston, what are some particular details of the health care reform that have been successful in Utah? Well, referring to the defined contribution system in the Utah Health Exchange, some of the hallmarks of what we're doing with those issues and also generally are, first of all, these are things that work for the currently insured. And I think a lot of times in health system reform, we forget that the fact that a lot of people already have health insurance. A lot of people are already doing something that works for them. So these are systems that allow people who are currently insured additional flexibility. It allows them additional choice, but it also allows them the option to stay with what they've got if they want to keep what's working for them now. There's no reason for us to force them to change. Uh, another thing that's unique about Utah, I think, in this sort of national debate is, is that there are no statewide mandates. There's no compulsion. There's no force. There's no requirement. It's a strictly voluntary system. We think that, that with a voluntary system, with markets that work, you'll solve most of the problems. And again, we're willing to, to start there and see if that can work first. And we think it will. We think that, that making it a voluntary system is, is something that should be done. Also, um, the Utah health system reform focuses narrowly on the plight of small businesses. If you look at the problem of the uninsured nationally, it's almost exclusively a one-to-one -one relationship with the plight of small business in, in the United States of America. So rather than focus on the, the symptom, which is the fact that people are uninsured, let's go back and uh, address the, co the cause, which is that small businesses are struggling. So the Utah Health Exchange, the defined contribution market, are all allowing small businesses to succeed. They're creating new tools for them to be more flexible in how they offer benefits. They're, they're, they're intended to make the labor markets work better through transparency, through choice, through competition, through accountability, through portability, all of those things. Come right back to help Utah small business. Because you know, we, we all know that at the core, health system reform is really about economic development. It's about keeping the engine growing, keeping people healthy uh, so that they can be more productive and have more satisfying lives moving forward. I, I think a couple of other things that are kind of critical to notice. One is that Utah's approach doesn't mess with seniors. We, we allow seniors to have the plan that they've got now and, and don't, don't, we don't feel like we need to change that. Um, similarly, we don't need to change or create any new public programs. We feel like we have enough public programs that the needs of the lower income populations are being met with the programs we have now. We, we probably would want to make some minor changes there. But we don't need to make any new, broad expansions of government programs to, to solve the problems that we have in the state of Utah. Dr. Thurston, thanks for your time today. You're welcome.